Shicey's release date is coming very soon. Today, a report of, and I quote, expect a court hearing from Memphis rapper Poo Shiesty shortly. With good behavior, his release date is coming up based on these factors. Where the Twitter thread lists off several reasons for his early release. However, Poo Shiesty's behavior hasn't been the greatest lately as he just recently called out ops from his jail cell. To understand the message he gave as well as his release date, we first need to dive deep into how Shiesty allegedly snitched, so then he would get a lesser prison sentence for an upcoming release. As academics would even explain that Shiesty's current situation in jail is not normal for someone that committed his type of charges. It's to pull Shiesty, who look like he's absolutely chilling in jail. My boy got a little Richard Millie, you know what I mean? Got, got the hair cut all right. You know what I mean? I heard got, they, be playing, uh, they be playing Fortnite Mobile. In, in jail? Oh, he got the Tim zone. They look fresh as well. Yo, this so chilling in, in prison. He got two watches. Like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, two watches. Not even one. As in the original crime document, it starts with Shiesty and his boy setting up a meet for high-end sneakers as well as narcotics. Who Shiesty is seen arriving to the parking lot driving a bright green McLaren. Awaiting the seller's arrival, Shiesty and his boy would create a plan to steal the goods instead of paying for them. As once the sellers arrive, they gave Shiesty the sneakers for a legit check. As while Shiesty was checking the sneakers, it gave his boy enough time to get into position for what was about to go down. While negotiating on the price for these goods, a small argument would brew up between Shiesty and the main seller. Things began getting heated until Shiesty was seen grabbing a firearm from out of his waistband. You can even see the two men starting to sprint away. They tried ducking for cover behind their own vehicle, however they were not quick enough as Shiesty ended up hitting both of them, hitting one in the hip as well as one in the backside. As while Shiesty was handling the two men, Shiesty's boy was in charge of grabbing the sneakers, narcotics, and anything else in their vehicle that he could grab. He grabs the goods and begins sprinting to his side of the McLaren. Meanwhile, Boo Shiesty is still making sure his job is done, chasing these two men around the parking lot. With Boo Shiesty opening up his McLaren door ready to leave with his boy, this vehicle had what's known as a butterfly door, meaning the car doors go upwards. As while Shiesty was throwing his door up, a Louis Vuitton bag in the side door pocket would then fall onto the ground inside of the parking lot. Boo Shiesty didn't even realize that he left this bag on the ground. This Louis V bag had $40,912 in cash, and it played a huge role in the evidence that is against Shiesty, but more on that later. Once leaving the parking lot, Pooh Shiesty would then head straight to the closest Miami airport, where he would go on and rent a private jet and fly straight out of Miami, Florida. However, Pooh Shiesty would then be arrested in the following days for the mistakes that he made. The town of Bay Harbor Island says you're wanted with He's also charged with armed robbery, battery in their affidavit, saying the two left the state in a private jail. Once he was booked into jail, he was quickly bonded out by Gucci Mane for $30,000 cash. Then after being on bond for roughly two months, Boo Shicey would be officially arrested for the crime. Mr. Williams, you were arrested for pursuant to an arrest warrant. It was issued June 3rd. It's charging you. You have two attorneys here. Or is it three? I'm sorry, two attorneys in the state. Go ahead. You want to announce again? Brad Cohen and Sam Zegni for uh, the defendant. Right. Have you had a chance to review this? Yes, Judge, we have. As fast forward, not only a month later, DJ Academics would tweet, Breaking, Who Shiesty is sentenced to 63 months inside of prison. He was facing eight years. With this all going down just a couple years ago, Who Shiesty is now very close to being released. And I think he's coming home like next year, or maybe the year after. However, it looked like he's, you know, taking responsibility of whatever happened and doing his time, not crying. Clearly trying to let people know he's straight. And I do think when he comes back out, granted, as long as it's not like too far from now, if he comes back in a year, he's good. I still think even within two years. As Pooh Shiesty's release date is only coming very soon because 63 months for firearm charges and robbery is very low, as it is for a specific reason. Pooh Shiesty created what is known as a proffer deal with the feds. A proffer deal is when a criminal proves additional detailed information to the feds relating to the offense for which immunity, or in this case, a lesser sentence is then granted. As Shiesty would go on to create this proffer deal with the 
offense. His original charges was eight years to 25 years inside a federal prison. However, he was able to work out a deal with the feds. Now, it does sound like he snitched a little bit because you have to give information to the feds as rappers would continuously call him a snitch online. However, the truth is he only snitched on himself. A part of Pusha Shiesty's proffer deal is the judge wanted him to outline the mistakes that he made in this crime so then he can learn his lesson. Now, the first mistake he committed was committing an armed robbery right beside a police station. As written by Shiesty, the footage you can even see here on the screen is actually recorded from police station cameras. This is right across the street as once the sound of firearms in the area were heard, several police cars arrived to the parking lot as with law enforcement knowing the exact location of this armed robbery, it didn't take them long to just look through the recording tapes from the video camera across the street. Also with the police arriving to the scene as fast as they did, they're the ones that retrieved the Louis Vuitton bag that was sitting on the ground. The Louis V bag holding the $40,912 in cash was a huge part of the evidence to prove Shiesty was guilty. Now the feds already had an idea of who committed this robbery due to the evidence I'm sharing next, but for the Louis V bag, they went to Pooh Shiesty's Instagram and downloaded a few photos. These photos of where Shiesty was stretching many hundred dollar bills across of his body known as a money stretch. With these photos, the feds zoomed in on the photo to where they could see the serial numbers that are on the bills, as with creative police work, they noticed that on bills in the photo ended up matching the same number on the bills found in the Louis V bag, which confirms that this was Shiesty's bag. However, this leads us into the next biggest mistake of them all, where Pooh Shiesty posted a selfie with the all green McLaren he just committed an armed robbery in a few hours after he committed the crime. Yes, Pooh Shiesty went and took a selfie with the sports car before going to the armed robbery. He committed the armed robbery, drove straight to the Miami airport, and once he was flying out of Miami, he would post those photos to his Instagram, flexing the all green McLaren. Now, Shiesty's team would also even release a music video later titled Gone MIA, flexing the all green McLaren as well. However, Pooh Shiesty completed his proffer deal. He gave the information to the feds. He's had great behavior while playing Fortnite Mobile in jail. He is now going to be getting released soon, as before being arrested, he would even share a message in an interview. Really, when I got signed, but I'm going to tell you before the part before I got signed, like breaking news. Mm. The verse on breaking news yeah. made everybody go crazy. And folks start saying, I'm a favorite rapper already, so right. I'm going to stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? It just made me go harder. So the success kind of gave you the confidence to really. For Keep sure. it up. Yeah, they rock with me for sure. Man. It's in my first verse. 